Hi friends, I just wanted to take a moment because I'm feeling uh, unction in the atmosphere for deliverance and I wanted to release that over your life. So I'm going to give you a minute to sign on and then I'm going to release that uh, unction over your life that I'm feeling today in our worship services. The presence of God was very strong and I felt a lot of deliverance in the atmosphere. We were singing songs like, you know, Break the Chains and Jesus, different things like that. And the presence has just continued to just dwell in this place ever since uh, we got done with services and I actually just went back in to worship again and I just feel such a strong, strong anointing right now for deliverance and I just want to be able to speak that over your life and so I really ask that you just put yourself uh, in a position of receiving deliverance because I believe that God can deliver you right where you're at. I don't believe that you have to have someone lay hands on you. I believe that he can use the internet and different things and I'm just uh, feeling this so strongly. I was trying to actually just keep worshiping and just enjoying my time with him but I, I know that when the anointing comes on it's always to give away and so I just want to release that over your life today so I, I pray that whatever you're doing you'll just stop and turn off any TVs or radios or distractions. Maybe go in your bedroom, put yourself in a quiet place right now and just receive uh, what I'm gonna release over you because I believe that strongholds are gonna be broken in your life. I believe that God is just gonna do a, a mighty work right now. So I just ask that you know you join me in prayer. You don't have to close your eyes. You can just listen and, and do whatever and just um, come with a receiving heart, a repentant heart to believe what God has for you today. So in the name of Jesus, Jesus, I just decree and declare that the enemy's strongholds over your life will be broken. In the name of Jesus, I bind and I restrict every spirit of rejection in your life and I tell it to go and get out in Jesus Christ's name. I command every spirit of lust and perversion and masturbation that has attacked God's people. I command you to cease to exist and be abolished. I burn you up with the fire of God and I say in the name of Jesus, get out of these people in Jesus Christ's name. I say pride and attention, Leviathan spirits, Lucifer spirits, every marine spirit, every hierarchy that has abolished your plans that God had for your life. I command you to get out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of pride that twists and turns communications and conversations, I command your assignment aborted in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the dry, dark areas of your life, every foul, unclean spirit, and I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Unclean spirits aren't just sexual spirits. It's any spirit. So I command those to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I say no retribution from the enemy in Jesus Christ's name. I say you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. And I command every spirit of affliction and infirmity that's attached to your medical conditions. I command those to loose you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of bitterness and resentment, I command it to get out of your life in Jesus Christ's name. Every spirit of unforgiveness, I command it to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. And I call for the full manifestation of your physical healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I ask right now that you help anyone watching this to repent of their sins, repent of any unforgiveness, repent of anything that would block their deliverances. I command generational curses of fear and depression and worry and stress to get out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. I just command the heavens to open over you right now in the name of Jesus, ministering angels to come into your arena right now in Jesus Christ's name. I come against the destroying powers of the devil to steal, kill, and destroy your destiny. And I say your destiny will be delayed no longer. That the footholds and the plans that the enemy has had on your destiny will leave in Jesus Christ's name. I apply and I plead the blood of Christ over you right now now in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I ask for peace and hope and the fruits of the Spirit to just stir up within them right now. Holy Spirit, I ask for a fresh just filling of your Spirit right now upon them to fill all those dry, dark places. I prophesy and I speak to your dry, dead bones and I command them to live. I bind and I restrict complacency and passivity and depression and laziness and unworthiness. I tell them to get out of your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
They will labor hard and long for the kingdom of God. Every passive spirit that is bound and paralyzed you, I command it to disintegrate. I command it to have no effect in your life anymore. And every unworthy, lazy, inadequate, insecure spirit lagging around in your mind, anything that's holding you back from your full destiny, I command it to go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You are worthy because Jesus is worthy and he lives in you. Every abuse of the past that you have suffered, Father, I just ask right now in the name of Jesus that you would just remove those memories and remove that. Every soul tie attached to that abuse, I command it to go. Every spirit of suffering, I command it to go. Every spirit of deep hurt, pain, regret, I command it to go. Every spirit of grief, I command it to be abolished out of your life right now. Father, I ask for your glory just to fill that room, your glory to fill their home right now, their glory just to fill this temple of these people that are watching this video right now, releasing that expectation, Father. Let them just connect with you spirit to spirit and they touch and agree with their full and complete deliverance. Father, every eating disorder, I abolish that in the spiritual realm. Comfort eating, stress eating, boredom eating, loneliness eating, food is their friend. I abolish those food addictions right now and I say they will have no favor in this person's life and the person will listen to the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit wants them to eat and how the Holy Spirit wants them to operate in the name of Jesus Christ. I disintegrate the plans and the blueprints that hell has written against them, Father, and your word says in Hebrews that we can go boldly before that throne of grace to receive mercy in the time of need. So, Father, right now we touch and agree and we go boldly before for your throne of grace to receive mercy for these people, Father, that you will deliver them. You said Jesus came to set the captives free. Father, help them to receive their freedom. Help them to renew their mind. Help them to change their behavior patterns. Holy Spirit, convict them where they need to rise up and take their rightful position and authority in the name of Jesus. Father, we come against every lustful spirit in Jesus Christ's name and we tell it to get out. Every spirit of fear, every mind-binding, paralyzing lie deceitful, seductive spirit. I command that spirit of fear to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Every strong man of fear, I command it to leave. And I command every generational curse of fear in your life to leave right now. Every place your soul is captured, I command that to be released in the name of Jesus Christ. I command no mind binding, no negative thoughts, no oppression, no depression in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command those demonic spirits to get out of your body by the power and authority of Jesus Christ. Father, I release your love. I release your power into these people right now that you would just saturate them in the fullness of your love, that you would saturate them in the fullness of your power, Father, to bring forth deliverance because your love delivers, your love heals, your love strengthens, your love empowers. So Father, I ask right now for a love shower for your people that you would just come on and give them that love shower so that they could be delivered, so that they can be equipped, so that they can be empowered for every good and perfect gift that you have. Father, I prophesy into these people and I speak that you have a good, you have a perfect gift. God has a plan for you. God has a dwelling place for you to dwell. God has a place to uphold you. He wants to uphold you in his mighty right hand. God has abundance for you. He has abundant revelation, abundant wealth, abundant scriptures. He has abundant love. He has abundant hope. And I speak that into your life right now. I speak hope for your situation, that this deliverance prayer will be different, that you will feel a release in the name of Jesus. Every generational curse, every soul tie, everything holding you back from the fullness of God, I say that your assignment is no longer in Jesus Christ's name. I declare and I decree over these people today that this is their season, that this is their time, that this is their moment, Father. I say it and you say that you give us authority over all things. I put a demand on the spiritual realm to activate on what we say and on what we touch and agree. Father, you say that your word says we're two or three touch and agree. It'll be established and we touch and agree. Guys, I'm just even feeling this uh, presence of the God just really intensifying for deliverance right now. My hand is just 
just on fire. So I want you just to reach out. I want you to believe it. You know, God uses manifestations. He uses things. And I just feel this intensifying. And sometimes you got to pull down your own deliverance. People can pray and decree over you, but sometimes you got to decree over yourself. So touch and agree with me. Decree whatever you need gone. Tell it to go. If it's lust, if it's pride, if it's depression, if it's fear, tell it to go right now, wherever you are in Jesus name. Cause I believe it's going to happen. I believe that there's going to be some mind biting spirits that are going to leave seducing spirits. They're going to believe negativity. That's going to leave. I believe depression is leaving right now. I believe fear is leaving right now. I believe that God wants to empower you. And so touch and agree and believe in the spiritual realm and, and just say whatever your demon is, whatever your struggle is, fear go in Jesus name. There's no magic words, guys. Fear go in Jesus name. Lust go in Jesus name. Control go in Jesus name. Manipulation go in Jesus name. Irritability go in Jesus name. Frustration go in Jesus name. Loneliness go in the name of Jesus. Abandonment go in Jesus name. Orphan spirits go in the name of Jesus. Helplessness go in the name of Jesus. Hopelessness go in the name of Jesus. I say every demonic spirit that's plaguing you, that's holding you back, that's making you lazy, that's making you inactive. I command it to loose you in the name of Jesus. Every place that your mind is captured and caught up and you can't even think on something positive if you try. I tell those demonic spirits to loose you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every band of witchcraft over you, I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Every word curse that's been spoken, I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Every word of poverty or lack or victim mentality or negativity that's been spoken over your life, I command it to get out in the name of Jesus. I say it has no authority over you in the name of Jesus. Every word of gossip or slander, backbiting, irritability that's been spoken over you, I command it to go go in the name of Jesus. Every soul tie that's entered you from relationships, I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Every place that you're not prospering, I cut off that life source that's sucking out your prosperity right now in Jesus Christ's name. And I say you will not activate in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I release your full delivering power on your people right now. I thank you, Jesus, that you give us faith to touch and agree. I thank you that your word is faith. And I thank you that we can pray together. I thank you that we can decree and declare and we can establish it. We will establish it right now. I establish freedom right now. I proclaim freedom right now. I release freedom right now. I say no weapon formed against you will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. I release strength into you right now. I release hope into you right now. I proclaim this is a different season. I proclaim this is a year of release. I proclaim this is a time of activation for you right now. Take authority, people of God, wherever you are, take authority over the spiritual realm. Call forth what you need. The presence of God is so strong. Just call forth whatever it is. God, I call forth more love in my life. God, I call forth more unity in my life. God, teach me how to be saturated with you more. Teach me how to ooze out your love. Whatever it is, just call it forth because God is a God who wants to give good gifts to his children. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And sometimes we need to diligently seek the Father for our healing and our deliverance. Father, I thank you that you desire to deliver. I thank you that mutilation and cutting and self-torment is gone in the name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit of trauma in your life in the name of Jesus. Every emotional spirit of trauma, I tell it to get out of your life right now in the name of Jesus. Every fear and torment, I tell it to get out of your life in the name of Jesus. Every worry and stress and anxiety, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I cast out worry, stress, and anxiety. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Every unworthy spirit, every spirit of inferiority and insecurity, I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of rebellion and control, manipulation and witchcraft, I tell it to go in the name of Jesus. I call forth the delivering power of Jesus Christ just to come into you right now in the fullness that he would just pour into you like a flood. That even you'd physically, tangibly just feel it on your body right now. Him just destroying it. I pull out every sword and curse in your spine. 
from words and backbiting and slander and people that have been against you in the name of Jesus. I call out all those curses right now in Jesus Christ's name. I just pull them out by the power and the blood of God, by the love of the Father that he has for you. He lavishes his love upon you right now. Father, I ask for the supernatural. You've done the supernatural in our meeting today. I'm still feeling the supernatural. So Father, I ask right now the supernatural fullness of the delivering power of Jesus Christ to come into every everybody watching right now. Father, we don't even have to know the names of those spirits because you say that your love, your power delivers. Your son, Jesus Christ, came to set the captives free. So whatever their ailment is, whatever their struggle, whatever their mind-binding spirit, whatever they're fearful, whatever their torment, whatever they're up against right now, I call forth the supernatural power of my God who can deliver and heal. In the Bible, it said, in that very hour. Don't look for your deliverance and your healing down the days. Look for it in that very hour. Jesus healed in that very hour. He delivered in that very hour. So Father, I call that forth from their living rooms, for the cars, the hallway, the mall, wherever they're listening, Father, that you would just come in right now in your strength and in your power and in your might. Just release that deliverance upon them right now. Speak it out wherever you are, whatever you need. Just speak it out and say, demons go in the name of Jesus. Unclean spirits go in the name of Jesus. Strong men spirits go in the name of Jesus. Deliverance come in Jesus name unworthiness go in the name of Jesus fear go in the name of Jesus just speak it out right now infirmity and an affliction and Deborah go right now in the name of Jesus I speak healing into your kidneys right now and I command that they produce a proper amount of waste in Jesus Christ's name I say kidneys be strong in the name of Jesus I touch and agree with her right now for the full manifestation of her healing and I say every spiritual infirmity affliction that's attached to her kidneys I root you out I abolish you with the right hand of God I pull you out in the name of Jesus and I say go in Jesus Christ's name healing come and manifest in the name of Jesus Father, we bless you and we praise you. We give you the glory. And I just call forth that glory to come right now. Deliver your children. You said, he says in his words that deliverance is a children's bread. That means deliverance is for believers. So if you don't think that you need deliverance, go read your word of God, okay? Deliverance is for believers. And so, Father, I just call forth that delivering power right now, Father, that breaker anointing to go through and to break up everything, Father. I release the kingdom of God over these people's lives right now right now in Jesus Christ's name. I pray for Kathy's demonic headaches right now in the name of Jesus. And I say every tentacle, every band on her head, I command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command every demonic assignment over her head, over her mind, every witchcraft band to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you and I praise you, Father. I give you the glory for what you're doing here today. Guys, increase your expectations and just cry out to God for what you need. Cry out to God for what you need because he is a faithful God. He is a faithful father to deliver you. He's a faithful God. We don't have to be in this big service, okay? We don't have to have worshiped for an hour and we haven't, you know, had to have all that. God can come in divinely and heal you and restore you and deliver you. You see, so often we're looking for people to give our deliverance and God gives the deliverance. Jesus Christ is the deliverer. And so that's what we have to do. Sometimes we have to press into his heart. We have to press into his presence. And as we worship him, he just desires what? He desires clean people, clean spirits, pure spirits to come before him in worship. So don't you think he's just going to automatically want to deliver you? So we have to just go in and we have to press in. We got to press in. You see, we don't press through to our breakthrough. And we got to press in. We got to press in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Kathy, for that affirmation. I saw a band too. That band is a witchcraft band. And it's not that you did witchcraft, but it's a witchcraft brand that I saw around your mind. And uh, a lot of times the headaches are from that. Sometimes it's from a Mexican or Indian heritage is where it comes from. Or sometimes it's from curses that people put over your life. And so that band, uh, tight, squeeze, restricts, uh, you know, makes headaches. And so I thank you, Father, that you broke that band of witchcraft. I thank you that that is released. I speak life into you. I speak health into you. I say no more headaches in Jesus. 
Jesus Christ's name. I say you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord and every demonic distraction in your life, Kathy, I command it to be gone, severed in Jesus Christ's name, in Jesus Christ's name. Guys, Jesus loves you so much and I want you to grasp this. I really just want you to grasp this, okay, is that his delivering power is for you. And a lot of times it's all you have to do is get into worship, get alone, get in your room, get where people aren't around you, okay? Get into some high worship and then just start casting out demons as you feel that presence of God come upon you. Just cast out. You know it's there. Just say, God, deliver me. God, I surrender. God, take out everything unclean. Take out everything that's not of you because that's what we want him to do is take out everything that's not of us. And so just cry out to him. You know, a lot of times we don't know that we're bound. We don't know that they're restricted because we don't cry out to him. We don't press in for our breakthrough. And that's what we need to do. I've been posting all morning on deliverance. I'm going to post all day. I'm just really passionate about it right now because I believe the enemy is really binding some people. I believe them. some people don't even know how bind your, bound your mind is. Okay. And so we need to really just press through. God wants his people living in the fullness of victory and freedom. And I prophesy and I speak over your life right now. I say that you will live in fullness. You will live in freedom right now in the name of Jesus Christ I say every good and perfect gift is working toward you I say that this is your time I decree this is your season I decree your deliverance is here I decree that your situation is going to be different. I declare good things are coming your way. I declare that your ministry is releasing. I command the spiritual realm, the angels to activate and come forth and work on your behalf. I call forth unity. I call forth men to co-labor with you. I call forth the unification of the saints around you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call forth your prophetic anointing. I call forth your prophetic gift right now in the name of Jesus. I call forth, there's someone that wants like a homeless ministry or women's ministry ministry. I call it forth. I decree it. I proclaim it. Father, send the laborers to that person. Send the means to that person. Send the instruction to that person right now. In Jesus Christ's name, I thank you. I praise you, Father, that you are releasing on behalf of your people right now. I thank you for that, that you are just releasing abundantly on behalf of your people. Believe that you can receive. Believe that God has every good and perfect gift for you. Believe he has the abundance of heaven. Believe that you have the disposal of heaven at your hands. Believe and receive. You got to reach for it. You got to, you know, you got to put out what's in you. The kingdom of God is within you and you got to speak it out. You got to declare it out. You got to believe it. You got to get in the presence of God. You can't let life and things happening consume you. You have to, you know, when the presence of God goes, you have to just comes. You just got to go. You got to stop what you're doing and you just go. What else do you really have to do? Everybody loves being in the presence of God. Okay. And so you have to just say, I'm going to go, I'm going to yield because when you yield, the Holy Spirit comes in and and the Holy Spirit can just pull things out of you that you don't even know that's in there. Guys, if we're not living in the abundance and we're not living in the freedom and if we're not living in victory every minute, there's something that's hindering us and we got to get out all those hindrances. God, God doesn't desire hindrances. God desires fullness. We have to live in the fullness of God, the completion of God. And God is in us. And so we shouldn't be living in in defeat. We shouldn't be living in depression. We shouldn't be living in weight. We should be living in everything that God has abundantly. You know, he restored everything for us. And we have to believe it. And guys, we got to activate our faith. We got to get up and take our authority. We got to get in the presence of God so that God can deposit in us and show us what that authority and what we need authority over is what I mean. And then we got to release it. Okay. We release it through our praise. We release it through our words. We release it through speaking into the spiritual realm. We release it by being obedient to God. And so that's what I really need you to do. I'm so passionate today that I, in, and every day, I just believe there's so many people that don't know how bound their mind is. You don't have any idea how bound your mind is. You see, and if we're not living in the presence of God, then we're living in captivity of something. That's what we're living in because he wants us living in his presence. He wants us living in his truth. He wants us living with him 
Every day we should be feeling the fullness and abundance of him. We weren't created to get, you know, defeated. We weren't created to get distracted. We were created to live in the abundant flow. And if we're not flowing, our focus isn't on God because then our focus is on our circumstance and our focus is on our problem. Our focus is on the enemy and how much he's weighing us down, how much he's attacking us with physical pains or infirmities or how much he's attacking us through our loved ones because the enemy chooses to attack us through people. And that's what we have to do is we have to focus on the name of Jesus. He's a high tower. He's a refuge. He's a fortress. He's a place of safety and a place of protection. And sometimes we just need to sit out on our couch and scream out, Jesus, you know, and just kind of refocus and, and get the spiritual atmosphere clean again and get all those demons fleeing from us. See, that's the problem is we sit and think and we rot and stink on our couches instead of getting up and putting on some praise or putting on some warfare. You know, that heaviness comes in or that bad news comes in and, you know, you got to decide when are you discerning it and when are you being heavy because of it. And that's what you have to do. And God has abundantly more. And guys, the place that the enemy really wants to get us is in our mind. He just wants to attack it. He wants to bind it. He wants to restrict it. He wants to like, you know, we prayed for Kathy and put that band around it. And, you know, he just wants to do that. And we can't allow it. We got to put on that garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. We got to rise up and fight. We got to rise up and declare. We got to be praying in tongues. We got to be decreeing. There's so much that we can be doing. And guys, you know, God told me a long time ago, he's like, Kathy, if you're fill your mind with scripture. It can't be filled with anything else. And I can't tell you how many times the devil's tried to fill my mind with fear, you know, but if I keep praying, what happens when I pray, I get better. The weight gets lifted off. Okay. The devil stops attacking because he won't exist with that decree. He won't exist in the presence of God. You know, when we're in the presence of God, you know, the devil cannot exist there. And so you got to say that, okay, am I feeling weighted down? Am I feeling burdened? Am I stressed? Am I fearful? Am I heavy? Because I'm not in the presence of God. And he wants you. And I want your mind free. I know how it's felt to be bound. And I know how it feels to be free. And the enemy still comes in and tries to bind my mind. You were never perfect until Christ comes again. The devil's always going to come and try and steal, kill, and destroy. You know, Deborah, you say, the closer I get, the more I get attacked. Yeah, you do. But you know what? You press through to your breakthrough. You got to press through anyways. It doesn't give you an excuse to give up. You got to press through. Us Christians, if we're not being attacked, we should wonder what's wrong with us and why we aren't working hard enough that we're not being attacked, honestly. But the more freedom you get, the easier it is to conquer that next attack. And so I know God has something in store for you. I know I am going to hear so many testimonies of people's minds that are getting released. And I really want you to know that you can walk in the full freedom and victory, that your mind can be free, that it can be a good day, that it can be light, that you can be in the presence of the Lord. And I just want that so bad for you. So right now, Father, I ask in the name of Holy Spirit, I just, you know, release into my Facebook friends right now, Father, your love and your power, that they would want their freedom as bad as I want it for them, Father, that you would show them that the powers of darkness over their mind and their life can be released, that you will show them and reveal to them that it can change. Holy Spirit, that you will send conviction on their life where they need to activate their faith, that you will just take out passivity and complacency, that you will help them to rise up and fight and just fight the good fight of faith, Father, that you will help them to get in your presence so that Jesus can just come in and be their deliverer, that you will convict them, that you will restore them, that you will heal them, that you will deliver them, that you will give them a passion to be in your presence, Father. Father, I ask that they would just see how important you are, how much love that you have for them, that you came and guys, he gave his only son. He put his son on the cross for your deliverance, okay? It's not just for your salvation. It's for your healing and it's for your deliverance. And I want you to know that Jesus came for your deliverance. He took it to the cross. You know, why are you hanging on to it? Why are you hanging on to that rejection? Why are you hanging on to that anger? Why are you hanging on to the despair? Jesus took it. You need to receive that good gift. You need to receive that package that he gave you. 
because he has great things in store for you. He really does. And I know he does. And I know he loves you because I can just feel his love for you. So friends, I just ask that today is Sunday, you know, don't get wound up in busyness of cleaning and chores and laundry or mowing the yard or whatever you do. Get caught up in the Lord. Get caught up in finding out how good your daddy is. Your daddy is so good. Your daddy has the abundance, the wealth of heaven for you. He wants to spend time with you. He wants you to relax. He wants you to love on you. He wants you to love on him. So find out how good he is, okay? Just find out how good he is. And I'm going to be praying for you today. And I know that God's going to do good things. And please send me the testimonies. Post on my Facebook wall. Post on this video even right here if you felt something during that prayer. You know, just, just post and share this video so that other people can be set free. Please, this is a, a great prophetic deliverance that the Holy Spirit gave. And so share that to your wall so other people can be set free because not everyone has a church or a pastor to pray for them. And so I just want to encourage you, if you don't have a church and, and you need to give your tithe or offering, please go on my website at dgrawministries.org. Sow a seed into a good cause. Give your tithe or love offering for today. Guys, I have a book called Time to Set the Captives Free. It talks about roadblocks to deliverance, generational curses, and how to do a freedom prayer session so you could do one on yourself. How to know if a demon's manifesting by like different physical manifestations you could feel in your body. So I want you to get that. It's only $10. Such a great investment in yourself because you could read it and get set free. It also teaches those of you who want deliverance ministry how to start your own deliverance ministry. And I even put my website at the top of the video for you so you can go back when we get off. There's also a book, Flesh, Satan, or God. Who am I hearing from? You got to know that, guys. It's going to help you quicken and get those demons out. It's going to help bring forth prophetic revelation. It's going to Function your prophetic gifting just to flow even more. So grab flesh, Satan, or God while you're there. We have a deliverance school coming up in Michigan. Please don't miss it. It's only a little over two weeks away. And I'm going to be teaching you everything I know about deliverance. Plus, I'm going to be setting the captives free. I'm going to be every session. We're going to be setting the captives free. You're going to release so much. You're not even going to know how good you feel. If there's absolutely no way you can do that, I want you to take my inner healing school online. My inner healing school online, you'll work with me through six months time and we will deliver you from 35 different topics at your own pace. And uh, so yeah, uh, Kimetria Late Yates, do you have a mentor program? Yeah, there's, you know, inner healing. There's, you'd want my discipleship program. My discipleship program, it does cost $150 for a year. I disciple you. We do Skypes. We do texts. We do phone calls. We do email assignments. I custom do a plan for whatever you want to learn. Now, it doesn't include inner healing and deliverance. If you want inner healing and deliverance, you have to take the inner healing and deliverance course. So it doesn't... Um, like piggyback on any other courses. It's a separate course. And so I really want you guys to think about taking one of those courses. Go on my DeGraw Ministries under the training tab. I have a prophetic school, an inner healing school, a deliverance school, a discipleship program. Very, very powerful. And so I really just want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you to do something exceedingly abundantly of what you've done in your walk with the Lord before. And I want you to really go and pray Press in today for the full freedom and victory that he has for you because you should be lacking in nothing. You should be missing nothing. You shouldn't be distracted. You shouldn't be defeated because he has an abundant love and just an abundant life for you, specifically for you. So guys, again, I bless you. If you're just tuning into Facebook, please go and rewatch the video. I did deliverance. I did prophetic. I did impartation. I want you to get all of that. Guys, go to my website, DeGraw Ministries, sign up for the deliverance school online or in person, buy the resources. There's so much to help you. There's some CDs and teachings and everything. And just uh, send me a message on Facebook if you have a question. I'm probably going to be back on later on tonight because I feel the Spirit of the Lord is just moving so strong today. And I tell people when the Spirit of the Lord is moving strong, quicken your spirit, quicken yourself, pay attention, 
Don't miss what God has for you because it could be even totally different than what we just released here. Guys, I thank you for listening. I love you all so much. And I just want you to know I'm praying for your freedom today. I'm praying for you today. And I'm just going to decree and declare that it's going to be a day of freedom, breakthrough, change. It's a new season for you. Remember, you're abundantly loved. You're blessed beyond measure. The favor of God is upon you. He has exceedingly great things for you. And guys, the more you listen to it, the more you hear it, the more you're going to believe it and receive it. So have a great day. Thanks for listening, you guys. I love you all.